Welcome back to Sip the Tatter Presents Ravens Roundup. I'm Coach Evans, and I'm here to give you a preview of the Ravens and Titans playoff game scheduled for Saturday, December 11th at 8.15 Eastern Standard Time. The Ravens and MVP frontrunner Lamar Jackson finished the year 14-2 and the number one seed in the AFC. And I'll start off with the Ravens offense versus the Titans defense. I don't know if you listened to the episode of Ravens Film Study with Ken and Josh when I mentioned reading a good D lineman that we couldn't block when I was coaching back in Mississippi. Well, that guy is Jeffrey Simmons, and also root to the Brewers. He made a huge play in New England near the goal line that kind of decided, you know, the outcome of that game. Um, it was typical of what he did in college and in high school. He was a disruptive player, always causing havoc in the backfield. Simmons is a disruptive force on the D-line that when Yonder Bozeman decides to move him, our inside zone should hit and hit big. Uh, they have good linebackers. Both have over 100 tackles this season. Rashawn Evans, no relations, and Jalen Brown. On the back end, they have Logan Ryan and Kevin Beard that lead the secondary. Let's talk about the standouts for the Titans' playoff game. Evans led the defense with 10 tackles and 3 tackles for loss. They held the Patriots to 98 yards on 22 carries, and we all know the Patriots have become a very heavy, run-heavy team toward the end of the season. They also held Brady to a 59.4 passer rating. They held the pass to 38% on third down and kept constant pressure on Tom Brady. How can we exploit them on defense? Number one, winning on first down. We at least need to average four yards on first down for the game. Number two, being unpredictable and using the counter play. We didn't use the counter a lot this year, and adding it right now would be a great um, wrinkle that uh, G. Rowe put in because their linebackers are pretty fast. Number three, protect the football. And protecting the football probably should be number one. So I feel like if we don't turn it over, we should win. If we win time and possession, our chances are real good versus the Titans because they do a good job of keeping the ball and running downhill on other opponents. But if we do that, which we normally do, we should be good. On offense, if we go 200 yards rushing and 200 yards passing, I really like our chances versus the Titans Saturday. On the offensive side of the ball, where the Titans are real scary, they employ the league's top running back in Derrick Henry. He rushed for 1,540 yards in the regular season and 182 yards Saturday versus the Patriots. They ran outside zone left and right, and he was one cut and go. He also caught a long screen pass. There was also one drive where he had every yard in the drive. Every yard. A lot of big runs and that screen pass. Needless to say, we have to keep him close to or under, or under 100 yards. He sets up the play action to guys like A.J. Brown, who is a certified dog, and potentially could be the uh, offensive rookie of the year in the NFL. I had A.J. as my number two receiver coming out of the draft this year when I did my top nine at nine. I'm good with Humphrey on Brown and Peters on Davis. We have plenty of guys to defend their tight ends and, and secondary receivers. Henry and, and Brown should be our main focus on defense. We can't put Marcus Peters on A.J. Brown. Reason I say that because A.J. Brown is too physical for Marcus. Marcus sometimes doesn't want to make tackles or be a physical guy, and A.J. is going to force him to be physical. He's physical on his route running. He's physical on his blocking. He's just a, a strong, naturally strong, physical kid, and I don't think Peters wants to deal with that for uh, 48 minutes. So I say put Humphreys on it because Humphreys is the type of guy that will match, match Brown's intensity and go after him tit for tat all game long. So put Peters over there on Corey Davis. Corey Davis is a guy that likes to go downfield and, and catch deep balls, and that will keep Peters out of the, you know, from having, having to tackle Derrick Henry. Defensively, if we are sounding our gap integrity and get multiple people to the ball before Henry gets going, we should be good. We can't let Henry get to the second level and let the linebackers be the first people to touch it. He'll run over those guys. And let's not sleep on the Titans O-line. They they have a pretty good O-line led by uh, Taylor Lewan. A, I don't think he's an all-pro, but he's one of the better linemen in the league. And so um, running off of him, doing the outside zone both ways, they do a good job of creating space, and hoping a linebacker overruns the situation. And that way, Henry has a hole to, to hit and go. And again, if he gets to the second level without being touched, he's going to be hell to get down. I said all that to basically say, if we do our job against the Titans, we should be perfectly fine. Don't try to do too much. Just do your job. Do what you've been doing all year. If we are fishing on offense, build an early lead, keep the Titans in passing situations, 
we should have no problem uh, scoring at least 30 points on the Titans. If we mix in a few looks, a few new wrinkles to go along with what we've been doing, but stick with our bread and butter for 75% of the plays, I don't think there's any way with the skill set that we have on offense that the Titans can match it, especially without turning the ball over. If we don't turn the ball over, control the clock, throw in a few wrinkles, and just hit our tight ends when they're open, hit our receivers when they're open. We don't have to force it to the receivers because I don't think they have defenders that's going to make us throw outside to the receivers. We should be good. The key is control the clock. Don't turn, don't turn the ball over. Another thing that's key for the Ravens, the Titans haven't played the Ravens this year. So they don't know how fast Lamar is, really. They've seen it on film. They hear other people talk about it. They hear all the people in the media talk about it. But they haven't had the opportunity to get on the field with that guy and watch him run past people and make people miss. And finally, my prediction for the game, Ravens 33, Titans 17. I think we come out, build a lead, put them in situations that they're not comfortable in, and then we take advantage of it late. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so when I drop new videos, you'll be one of the first to know. Lastly, if you're a frequent here and want to support, check the description for all the ways to do that. Those people that support are the ones that can request content. Make sure you have your Purple Kool-Aid ready Saturday at 8.15 Eastern to watch the Ravens. I appreciate your Ravens flock. And until next time, I'm Coach Evans, and I'm like Jason Garrett. I'm out of here.